welcome back programmers in the previous arcade video we just saw how you can create the emoji now this is the time now we are gonna start to create a game but first let's look at the game which we can create using arcade you can see there's a lots of game available in here you can create using the arcade api you can just use your imagination and your coding skill so in the today's section we are gonna start to create a arcade game a rick shooter game now if you don't know what is rick and morty so just watch rick and morty episode so i'm gonna create the rick shooter game so first let's import the arcade obviously now if you know java so you know in the java in the android you have to add some function to run that app it calls cycle so in the arcade you go setup on draw and update in the setup you can set up your game like you can create the player enemy and object in the on draw you can draw something if you want to show something in the display for example i want to show my enemy on windows so you can just do is windows dot draw in on draw function and so on so in the update you can add all of the logic now in here you can see we are gonna use the class to use all of the functionality of arcade for example in here you can see class my game and in here i just pass the arcade dot window now i just inherit all of the arcade dot window with my game my new class and the first thing in here is def init now if you don't know what is it this is the constructor and i just pass the init in here in the constructor i already pass the width and height and i'm gonna pass the title too and in the init you can add the background color of your window even you can add the image too but i'm gonna show it later so this is the main area of our game in here first we are gonna create the object of our function or class and then we are gonna use the game dot setup this function and then i'm gonna run this using the arcade dot run so when i run this function which is main if you don't want to do this you can just do like this too this is the same thing so now if you got it so now let's create the game first import the arcade then i'm gonna create the class i'm gonna name it rick shooter because my game name is rick shooter then i'm gonna pass the arcade dot windows sorry you have to create the class not a function i that was my mistake i have to add the class not the def first i'm gonna add the pass in here and in here i'm gonna add the constant so my constant is screen width height title and scale so now i'm gonna pass the init function in here so init is nothing but the constructor and in the init function i'm gonna use the def super function only super is good now super is for initializing the game and in the super i just pass the width height and title now i'm gonna set the background color so i'm gonna use the arcade dot set background color and i'm gonna use the arcade dot sky blue color color dot sky blue now i'm gonna create the spirit now if you don't know what is spirit i'm not talking about ghost i'm talking about spirit function spirit are an easy way to create a 2d bit mapped object in arcade arcade has method that make it easy to draw move and animate spirits you can also easily use spirits to detect collision between objects so in here you can see i just created the spirit for enemies clouds and all spirits so self dot enemies list equal to arcade dot spirit list now if you don't know what is spirit list if you know list you know what is spirit list because spirit list is nothing but the group of spirit so in here you can see i just created this self dot enemies list equal to arcade dot spirit list i want my all of this spirit list in the initializing method so i just initialize all of my spirit okay now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put all of the function in here so the first function is setup the second one is on draw the third one is update so first i'm gonna add in the setup let's create our player so i'm gonna use self dot player equal to arcade dot spirit 
now i am using the single spirit because there is only one main character main hero in my game now in here i'm gonna pass the image so i have this rick.png if you don't know what is rick and morty please watch this is the very funniest show so i'm gonna use rick.png you can use any spaceship any airplane anything you want and then in here i'm gonna pass this scaling scaling means how much scale you want for this particular player and in here you can see i already created this scaling so i'm gonna just pass this scaling in here and so on so you can see in here self dot player dot center y equal to self dot height divided by 2 i just pass the position of my player self dot player dot left equal to 10 and self dot all spirits dot append self dot player now in here in this two line i just pass the i just set the character position and in here self dot all spirits dot append self dot player i just append my player in self dot all spirit now let's look at our game but first in here you have to pass you have to create the main function main area for game and in, and for that you can use if name equal to equal to main and so on so i'm gonna use the object obj equal to my function name class name is rig shooter so i'm gonna pass the rig shooter in here and i'm gonna use the rk dot run method but I want to run my setup. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to call the object dot setup function. But first, don't forget to pass the height, width and title in here. So I'm going to pass screen width, height and title. You can see this is running. I got only blue color in here. Now let's print our character. You know, I told you how to print how to show our characters in using on drew now if i draw all spirits so i can see all of this stuff but first let's try to draw only our character self dot player dot draw you can see i got rick and morty but the image is huge if i do like this all spirits dot draw you can see again i got only rick and morty because i just have only rick and morty's spirits for now now you can see the height is very huge so i'm gonna change the scaling into 0. Point, let's say 10 yes this is perfect now you can see i got a spaceship a perfect amount of size now if you want to create the coin a lots of coin so you can do like this in here you can see for i in range of coin count first self dot player spirit equal to aircat dot spirit image and then he set the width and height and the position now self dot player list dot append for i in range of coin count coin equal to aircat dot spirit again this image is for character and this image is for coin he took a for loop for show a uh, multiple coins at the same time and he add the self dot coin list dot append coin and so on so he just print the self dot player list dot draw and self dot coin list dot draw now let's talk about scheduling function arcade dot schedule is designed exactly for this purpose is to take two arguments the name of the function to call and the time interval to wait between each call in second now we have to work in our enemy spirit the design calls for you to make enemy spirits appear at regular intervals since you want both enemy and code to appear throughout the game you set up one schedule function to create a new enemies and a second to create a new cloud that code goes into setups but first let's create the add enemy function from your python game design enemies have three key properties the appears at random location on the right side of the windows they moves to left in the straight line they disappear when they go off the screen the code to create an enemy spirit is very similar to the code to create the player spirit def add enemy self and in here you can see i just passed the delta time equal to float now how much time has passed since the last call we are creating a new enemy and how much time has passed since the last call so this is why we need delta time float in the enemy you can see enemy equal to aircat dot spirit and i just passed the enemy dot png now in here set its position to a random height and off screen right so enemy dot left equal to random dot rendint we have to import random in here now if you don't know what is random function what the hell are you doing man 
so it is gonna generate the random enemies to left and the top and you can see in here i just passed the self dot width and self dot width plus 18 it means random height and of the screen right and so on so in the enemies dot top equal to random dot ready 10 is the margin value and self dot height minus 10 is the margin between height and the margin of enemy now we have to add in the setups dot pi spawn a new enemy every 0.25 second and for that aircat dot schedule now schedule i just told you what is schedule and i just passed the self dot add enemy and i just passed the 0.25 second you can change the time and so on so i just add the spawn a new cloud every second but uh, I haven't created a cloud so I'm gonna create a hashtag for now in the draw I use the all spirit draw so now let's run and don't forget to add self enemy list dot append enemy now as you can see in here I just change the random left position to 300 and 600 and so on so and here you can see I just pass the arcade dot schedule self dot add enemy and I'm gonna change it to 0.20 second now let's run this code you can see this is running perfectly this is adding a uh, enemy at 0.20 second now let's do this first and don't forget to add self dot enemies list dot append enemy because we are appending enemy into this enemies list and I just pass the self dot enemy list dot draw in the draw method so now let's try again you can see this is working this is adding enemy perfectly now I want to change the scaling value for my player so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna change the value into 0 0.20 is enough for now you can see my player is big now now I can see my player perfectly and so on so I'm gonna change this position to 900 you can see now I am okay there is a problem in here you can see enemy is out of the screen so in here I'm gonna use self dot width minus 50 so now let's try you can see now my enemy is not out from screen for left position only I have to do all of this stuff I have to set position for top 2 and for that you can change the value of this so that is it for today's guys in the next video we are gonna move the enemies and our player and we are gonna do some animation in our enemy so that is it for today's guys if you like my video just like my video share this video with other programmer hit on the bell icon so you'll never miss my latest video see you guys in the next video till then just create a fucking game